Hey what's up Dr. Prasoon here. Are you a person who asks for antibiotics every time you get a cold or cough? Do you believe that antibiotics are the main medicine which help you cure faster and in a better way? If you are a person who regularly takes antibiotics for cough and cold then you should definitely watch this video. Because in this video I am going to tell you what antibiotic resistance is and whether you should be worried or not. This is Dofody. The simplest online portal in India where you can talk to doctors easily. So let's get started. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do it right now. And when you do that, please click on the bell icon. And then press the all button so that you don't miss out on any of our future videos when they are released. First things first, antibiotics are those medicines which are used to kill or slow the growth of bacteria and no other microorganisms. That means viruses, parasites, fungi, which are other types of microorganisms that are capable of producing an infection in human beings are not affected by antibiotics. Majority of the upper respiratory tract infections including cold, cough, sore throat, pharyngitis are caused by viruses and not bacteria. So what will happen if you have been prescribed antibiotics for a viral infection that leads to cough and cold? First of all, you should understand that antibiotics when prescribed for viral infections will have no effect on treating the condition. And the most important thing is that antibiotic resistance can develop. So what is antibiotic resistance? Bacteria which were once sensitive to antibiotics will become resistant to the same antibiotic if they are used over and over again. Now this practice has been on the rise for several decades now. Even doctors are prescribing antibiotics unnecessarily. Antibiotics are actually being misused and overused and this is leading to antibiotic resistance on a large scale. We have only a limited number of antibiotics that are available right now and we have to make the most use of it. And for that, antibiotic resistance should be kept to a minimum. When a particular type of bacteria becomes resistant to an antibiotic, then that antibiotic becomes useless. We will not be able to treat any bacterial infection using that antibiotic and I am not talking about a single person but the whole human population. If this resistant bacteria infects a normal person who has never taken an antibiotic in his life, then the same antibiotics which was once used to treat this bacterial infection can no longer be used to treat the bacterial infection in this new person. And it is the same for all other human beings. The number of antibiotics that are being discovered is very limited and that is one of the main reasons why doctors and the whole medical community is so much concerned about antibiotic resistance. Antibiotic resistance makes a joke of the medicine which we have been using for several decades now to treat and save millions of lives. So what are the other dangers associated with overuse of antibiotics? If you are self-medicating, then there is something which is called as hypersensitivity or allergy to antibiotics. Antibiotics are one of those groups of medicine which has the highest allergic reactions in human beings. Sulfur containing antibiotics, penicillin, cephalosporins are very well known to lead to allergic reactions which can in some instances lead to anaphylaxis which is the most dangerous type of allergy and if it is not treated within the right time the anaphylactic reaction or the allergic reaction can even lead to your death. Now I will tell you some reasons why many persons self-medicate using antibiotics. First point number one is that they believe that this is the most effective medicine which can help them treat their cough and cold. Point number two save the consulting fee which the doctor deserves. Point number three, anyway the doctor is going to prescribe some antibiotics, then why not take it all by yourself. Point number four, there will be some leftover medicines from your previous treatment and no one is going to stop you from taking these antibiotics. 
please don't do that point number five medicine sharing if someone in your family has been prescribed antibiotics then you will think that these are antibiotics and these will work for you too which actually should not be done point number six you believe that taking antibiotics is the best thing to do because antibiotics will help you cure faster you have no time to waste and for a faster recovery you believe that antibiotics is going to help you the most point number seven there are many persons who firmly believe that without taking antibiotics their cough or cold is not going to be cured and that is another reason why they take antibiotics without consulting a doctor now you might be thinking why doctors prescribe antibiotics so very often and there are several reasons for that too point number one i told you that upper respiratory tract infections majority of them are caused by viruses and not bacteria but there are some upper respiratory tract infections which are also caused by bacteria in fact some viral infections can even get worse when they get a secondary bacterial infection and in these cases when the doctor thinks that the bacterial infection can be effectively cured and controlled using antibiotics then your doctor will definitely make use of the antibiotics and prescribe it for you the second most common reason is that patients request doctors to prescribe them antibiotics now the reasons why patients request antibiotics are the same why they go for self medication with antibiotics they believe that without antibiotics their infection is not going to be controlled they have no time to waste and they also believe that taking antibiotics is going to help them cure better and faster reason number 3 patient satisfaction as a practicing doctor it is the doctor's responsibility to make the patient satisfied and the patients get satisfied only when they receive an antibiotic prescription the large tablet or capsule which the patient knows is an antibiotic is going to make them happy and satisfied patients believe that their consulting money is worth only when they get an antibiotic in their prescription many persons firmly believe that antibiotics are the medicines which had cured them of their respiratory infections the last time around and so naturally there is no surprise in the fact that they are requesting for antibiotics this time also reason number 4 lack of time with doctors and patients the doctor has no time to keep on explaining the principles of antibiotic resistance to patients when they come for a consultation every consultation hardly takes 5 minutes and within that time the doctor has to look into the symptoms get the history of the complaints and then after reaching a diagnosis have to write a prescription also reason number 5 the doctor actually fears that there might be a bacterial infection in the patient and what if the doctor prescribes no antibiotics to the patient and diagnoses only a viral infection he then sends the patient home without prescribing any antibiotics and what if there was an actual bacterial infection for which antibiotics was required no doubt the patient is going to sue the doctor and the doctor's practice is ruined and that is another reason why doctors prescribe antibiotics easily and frequently so the next time when you are asking for antibiotics or when you are taking antibiotics from a medical shop or a pharmacy without consulting a doctor please remember the points i have told you in this video i hope you like this one please share it with your friends and family give us a thumbs up if you really like this video and do not forget to subscribe to our channel if you have any more doubts you can always download the dofudi app and ask your questions to doctors easily using chat audio call and video call i will see you in the next one it is me dr prasoon signing off take care stay healthy and thank you so much for watching